Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to set up a collage base layer to do your underpainting and your artwork on top of. A lot of times I have this layer of sort of old papers and ephemera that underlies my entire piece and that requires you laying down these papers flat on the wood substrate before you do anything else. And so I've been asked a lot uh, via my blog and my website how do you do that so today I'm going to show you how to make a, a base layer of collage to build your artwork on top of so you're going to need a wood cradled panel and um, gloss gel medium for the glue a brayer to roller it flat and um, some interesting papers so dig through some old letters um, some old publications some old sheet music handwriting uh, any of those things can build an interesting base layer of collage for you to work on top of so let's get started welcome back I'm now going to show you how to adhere your ephemera as a collage base to your wood painting panel. So I've got a uh, golden soft gel gloss as my adhesive. I've got about a one and a half inch or one and a quarter inch ratty old glue brush. I've got a cradled panel. It's a two inch wide cradled panel and I have coated it with two coats of white gesso. And I have got a drawer here full of fun old papers that I'm going to choose from to glue on top of this panel. So collecting this is probably the most time consuming part of the whole process. So I've got these neat things that are from the city council and the mayor of Baltimore uh, dated 1867. So I'm going to start with that. I want to put that in a prominent place on this panel. So I'm going to put it in this upper corner and then I'm going to sort of work around from there because I really want this to be something that shows up. So I'm, when I want it to show up, I'm going to put it out around the periphery because your subject is probably going to be in the center. So things that you really would like to not lose, you should put around the edges because your subject will be in the middle. But you're going to consider your composition when you glue these down as well. So I'm going to do a bird on this and my bird is either going to be center or slightly off center but more in the middle area. So the material that I really want to be readable or or recognizable I'm going to keep around the edges. So I'm going to start with my soft gel gloss. I'm going to wet my brush in a little bit of water. I'm going to set this off and then I'm going to brush the gloss. Oh I've also got a brayer. I'm sorry I've got a brayer uh, to roll over the papers. So I'm going to put the soft gel gloss on the base. I had a little bit of water in my brush. I'm going to be generous with it. Spread a lot of it on there. I'm going to lay my paper right up to the corner and the edges and then I'm going to use my brayer to roll it out cleaning off the extra glue off the side on a clean piece of paper. So I'm going to clean that glue off by rolling my brayer off, get it nice and flat and then I'm going to take more soft gel gloss and just brush right over the top. I'm going to clean off the excess glue that has gone around the edges and I'm just going to brush right over the top and I'm going to use my brush to sort of flatten out any bubbles that I might see as well. Now if you get any of this stuff and it bleeds with the glue you just need to set it aside and it, make it not an option. Uh, sometimes um, pen can bleed so let's see if this bleeds and I'm not uh, in love with this piece so I'm going to put it towards the center put it like that and this is a smaller piece so I don't necessarily need to use the brayer on it I'm just going to use the brush over the top I'm going to smash it down with my brush flattening it from all angles and brushing over and that is not bleeding so that's good and I'm cleaning up any extra glue with my brush so I didn't need the brayer on that one I really usually only brayer bigger pieces but I do want to do a combination of large and small pieces on this here I've got uh, an old book page um, that could be kind of cool if I did it this way and I could also run it over the edge so let's let's look at doing that so I'm gonna use my soft gel gloss generously put a little water on my brush just a little it's hot out here and things are drying quickly so I've got that and now I'm gonna put it over the edge as well where that uh, book page is gonna whoops where that book page is gonna fold over kicking the camera with my brush. That's an argument for a short handle brush right there. So I'm going to lay this 
right here. I'm going to use the brayer, flatten it out. I'm also going to do it on the corner to crease it. And I'm going to wipe over the top of it. And then I'm going to turn the corner to make sure I've got plenty of glue here on my corner. And then I'm going to fold that. And then I'm going to fold it again, crease it with my fingernails. And then I'm just going to tear it right along the edge. And I'm going to put more glue over the top. It's important to put glue on the top of every piece and applying it with pressure from this old ratty glue brush. So don't be afraid to press down. This r brush is ruined anyway. So pressing down, scraping off, scraping the excess glue back into the container. Waste not, want not, as my mother was fond of saying. And then I've got a little space up here in the corner. Let's see if I can find something else interesting in my bin of stuff. I've got some old typewritten letters from the desk of Richard Doherty from 1982. Um, and I like the type. I like the, the font of the actual key typewriter. So I'm going to put that in this corner. I'm going to lay it right here. I'm going to come up. I don't want it to cover up what I already did. So I'm going to sort of fold it like that and tear it. It doesn't need to be perfect. I'm going to set that right in there. It's a small piece, so I'm going to use the brush. And again, I'm going to fold it over. I'm going to add more glue in the fold. Fold it over. Crease it. Crease it along the edge and tear it against the board. And then I'm going to use my brush again to add more glue to the top and flatten. Now you've got a great base coat for your collage. So you're gonna let this dry completely and then you're gonna do your sketch and your underpainting right on top. And now you've got a continuous layer of ephemera going across the background of your piece. So here's how you create a base collage for your collage mixed media painting on top. So thank you for being here and I look forward to seeing you next week. Happy Friday.